Speaking of moisten, don't like that word. <laughs> um, uh, the title, our title, the question, the moon. The moon. Let's talk about the moon. Okay. <gasps> Is it real? And have we been there? <laughs> um, the solar eclipse is coming up. Yeah. April 8th. Which is in three days. Which is in three days. Yeah. Three days from when this podcast comes out. Um, I, I came across a story that was insane and I've never heard of it. And you think that we would have learned about it in at some point in our lives. And it's about... Events that happened in the years 1811 and 1812. 1811 and 1812. Um, there was this Indian Native American chief, mm -hmm. and his name was, uh, uh, how did you say early? T Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Yeah. We learned about him in school. Tecumseh? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember what. Okay. Well, Tecumseh was a... Uh, Hit what they wrote down was a Native American mystic warrior military leader of the Shawnee tribe. Yes. And his name means shooting star mm -hmm. and or he who walks across the sky. Oh, cool. He had a brother who everyone called the prophet. And it was like kind of like a Native American cult, if you will. And he made this prediction in 1806 that there was going to be events that transpire after a solar eclipse. And he called the solar eclipse the black sun. And he said that there will be a great battle after the black sun, which is to come very soon. But then... How do you know about it? The prophet. He's the prophet. He's a he, mystic. He walks on the stars. Um, yep. Uh, so he predicted that, right? But in March 1811, something appears in the sky, which was called the Great Comet, or the Tecumseh Comet, mm. or as they referred into in Europe, they referred to it as the Napoleon Comet. Oh, because Napoleon was going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. But this comet was seen all around the world, and it was huge, and the people were terrified of it. Oh, geez. Because they said at night, it was the brightest thing in the sky, and you could even see it during the daytime. Wow. And the thing, so like when there's a meteor or a comet, you know how there's like the light that bends around it? Yeah. It's called the coma. Look that up. Knowledge. Knowledge. Um, <laughs> but they said the coma or like the head of this comet was a million miles wide. What? 50 times bigger than the sun. Where is it now? It gone. I'm getting a there. million miles wide. That's times, crazy. 50 times bigger than the sun. So this just appeared in March. And everyone's like, what? Right? Terrifying. Um, so it appeared in March. And then in September, September 17th in 1811, there was a solar eclipse that happened almost on the same path that this coming solar eclipse is about to happen. Yikes. Like, so it went across basically like the Midwest and kind of shot up towards like New York. Okay. Um, there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Uh, everyone was like, that's wild, whatever. Uh, but on October 20th, 1811, the comet passed its closest, closest trajectory towards earth. <laughs> oh my, Tyson came out. Yeah. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, this comet was crazy, y'all. Hey, that was pretty good, right? Really um, so after it got super close to the earth on October of 1811, Two months later, in December, December 16th, 1811, there was massive er earthquakes uh -oh. that happened in the New Madrid fault line. So that's New Madrid, Missouri, right? Didn't know this existed yeah, until- Yeah, last place I would have guessed this yesterday. is where it is. Apparently, it's a major fault line. <laughs> and so after the solar eclipse happened, and after this comet came super close to the Earth, this fault line shifted- Uh-oh. And so and created Joplin. <laughs> no, uh, but when it shifted, um, the earthquakes that happened were they said on record the worst earthquakes America has ever experienced. Wow. One of them being a magnitude 8.8. .8. What's the scale? 10. 10. And like three is 
huge. <gasps> and like, and something seven is like catastrophic. And now, so like that's, you're getting up to like 8.8 .8. world ending almost. But what was weird was these earthquakes happened in between uh, December of 1811 through the spring of 1812. It was just consistently shaking. They said there's over 10,000 earthquakes that happened during oh that time frame. My and there were the aftershocks. They were yeah. so violent in the aftershocks. This happened. This fault line stuff was like in Missouri, right? They said the bells in like Boston were ringing for like a week straight. What's an aftershock? That's what. So earthquake and then like the shock that comes out from it. Because it could be hours after, depending on how big it is or where it's at. I don't know what you're Literally, about. it's just tiny earthquakes after the major uh, earthquake. Yeah. Think, so like think the, about a pool. If you push a wave, it hits the other side and then comes back. So you have uh, the initial impact and then. So that's that's what's almost worse because if the the main earthquake doesn't knock down buildings, yeah. the aftershock is like it's like who knows how bad that's going to be. So everyone still has to be evacuated, and has to be taking a lot of measures for it. So oh wow, yeah. But some crazy phenomenons were happening during these earthquakes, and I'm going to read a couple of them. There's called something called earthquake lights, and it's lights flash from the ground caused by quartz crystals being squeezed. So there's literally just like lightning coming from the ground, like and like <laughs> I'm like. What are you talking about? How that's scary. what I'm talking about. Like I'm like I learned all this stuff yesterday. Like how this this is historical stuff. Dude, how terrifying would that be back then? Not knowing anything, seeing the comets, the, you've never felt an earthquake before and you're in the middle of Missouri. Yeah. You're just like, you're just chilling, camping in Missouri and suddenly the earth cracks open and there's lightning coming through. Like, that's insane. Yeah, the world is ending. Yeah, it's you're done. coming is happening. The Mississippi River ran backwards for several, several hours. So from the ocean north? Yes. So it literally changed direction for hours. And when that happened, <laughs> Get it. I mean, they were talking like these locals and stuff said the earth was literally opening up, swallowing trees and forests. One of them, this uh, Native American village, this giant Native American village was completely swallowed up in this earthquake. Do you think that's where that phrase came from? Where like there, somebody says, I wish the earth would swallow me up right now. Probably. I guess so. From um, that time. Yeah, probably. But there's also something the uh, with the, these earthquakes earthquake smog and what that is it says the sky turned dark during the earthquake so dark that lighted lamps didn't help the air smelled bad and it was hard to breathe like um, sulfur yeah it was just dark sulfur and they said like literally if you had a light like a lantern you couldn't see it that it terrible. was that dark so oh, all this is happening my scary they said that there's literally thunder from happening the earth. from the earthquake just so you're seeing light lightning come from the ground villages being swallowed up thunder dark smog a giant comet like your world like it's the end of the world right yeah dude but they also said that the lot of locals said that um there's a ton of animal warnings before that oh they knew yeah so they said wild animals became like domesticated yeah they were coming in their houses and then domestic animals were acting like wild animals and they said that geese and ducks would come and land like on people and by people. Just weird stuff. What are we going to do? Hmm? We're getting swallowed too. What are you talking about? The geese and the ducks are like, yo, help me out. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We're not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> but this, there's one story. It was the first steamboat to ever go down the Mississippi. Got went to the other direction? Well, it was going down and he was with his family. It was a... Uh, him, his wife, his two daughter or two year old daughter, and their dog, and on December sixteenth, they were two hundred miles from uh, New Madrid, Missouri, mm -hmm. and so they didn't feel the shocks because they were like on in the, the water. water. But then the further downstream they went, they just noticed like everything starting to move, and like the river was like swallowing itself, and a bunch of Native Americans were like shooting arrows and stuff at him because they thought they called it the fire boat was causing the earth to shake. So they thought this steamboat was causing all this stuff. Wow. Oh, no. Um, but they said that the further they went down, everything was just forced were just completely swallowed up by the earth leveled. Um, and at night they tied off to like an Island that was on the river. The next morning, the Island was gone. <gasps> so, I mean, you're, it's just terrifying, right? 
Um, I just thought it was crazy, man. I've never heard this story ever. They said it was the biggest earthquakes America has ever seen, the longest duration of earthquakes the world has ever seen. But what was crazy about this great comment thing was it's, um, what do they call it? Uh, orbit. Yeah. So when it appears and when it, uh, goes away, hold on, where's the date? Um, bah, 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 bah. are you implying that this is going to happen again with this solar eclipse in three days? I'm getting there. Okay. This orbit or the orbit of this great comet happens every 3065 years. So the last time Earth, people on Earth saw this comet, what they saw in 1811, was during the time of King Ramses II in Egypt. How do we know that? Don't know. Um, but that was also the time of Moses, which I found super Shut interesting. Shut up. Yeah. <gasps> like I'm thinking of like the... The plagues. The plagues, the sky going dark, and I don't know. It was, I just thought that was a weird connection. Yeah. That's the only connection I made with it. Yeah, no. I mean, there's um, a ton of weird no, that's stuff. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But we actually have a comet that is going around Earth right now that will be most visible on April 8th. Guys. But it has guess, a good name. It's, it's called a happy comet. Guess what this comet is oh. called? What? The devil comet. Oh, my gosh, Andy. And this comet, listen to this. This comet, it's called the devil comet because it appears to have two horns on it. Yeah, fair. Or the Pac-Man comet. This comet was first discovered in 1812. Josh, quit saying it out loud because it'll <laughs> come true. And it has a 71-year orbit. So basically, I did the math of 2024, and you take away 71, 71, 71. It was 1811. Wow. When they first, when this comet first appeared at Earth. But this comet will be, they said it will probably be visible during the daytime, during the eclipse. What wow. does this mean for me? Because I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, so there's that. Well, scary. Dude, it's so um, funny you mentioned that, though, because, like, I was literally just seeing a TikTok. And it was crazy. And you're going to love this. They're finding steamboat ships 50 feet under the ground in Kansas fields. That's from this. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's blowing my mind. Like, I didn't put those two together, but there's literally pictures of there's so many of that. It's that, from this earthquake, that dude. Literally, that, that's wild to me. Yeah. You no, know, something, the Midwest just seems like a perilous place to live. It, it does seem brutal. It's also. Boring. Strong people, strong, and it's yeah. also probably m the majority of our uh, audience. So be careful, <laughs> all right. And they have guns, a lot of them. All right. <laughs> um, can I can I add some doom since you brought up Moses? Sure. All right. This is uh, <clears throat> Moses speaking. Um, Moses said, "This is how that you will know the Lord has sent me to do all these things, and that it was not my idea. If these men die a natural death and experience only what is." what usually happens to men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord brings about something totally new and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them with everything that belongs to them and they go down alive to the grave, then you will know that these men have treated the Lord with contempt. And as soon as he finished saying all this, the ground under them split apart. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them with their households. Opened its mouth. That's wild. That's wild. Because the last time this comment was here on earth or seen on earth was during the time of Moses. That's from number 16. That's wild. Wow. 